Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Double digit streak! And we continually, mercifully fail to random the characters at the back part of the spectrum. Which is mostly good for me. 6VE8Z6YD. Uh, mostly good for me. So that we don't find ourselves... Oh, please be Spirit Heart. So we don't find ourselves having a risk of the Keeper or the Lost. Um, Lazarus, Azazel, you know, other characters that are back there are actually mostly totally fine. Totally gonna take Cursed Eye here. Um, why? P-A-R-T-Y? Because I gotta! You are not exploding into bombs, which is very disappointing for me. Alright, you know what? I figured we didn't even need to be on that part of the map, so let's just, uh... Let's expedite the whole process of exploring here, and, uh, we get a little spider butt action. Here's the deal. Spider butt is better than the poop. So we should take spider butt, um, but we could re-roll the poop into something better. But we're probably gonna need a bomb, or at the very least a little bit more money to do so. So we'll, uh, we'll wait on that for now. Of course, Cursed Eye has the potential to totally screw us, but, uh, it also has the potential to be the greatest the world has ever seen. It's my half-assed Michael Caine impression. I've been trying to work on a young Michael Caine. I don't have it, because the old Michael Caine is very easy. You just go, oh, it's all right. Yeah, it's just the size of a tangerine. Right? You just do the Rob thing. Young Michael Caine is up here. He says, all right, listen up. This is me from Alfie. It doesn't work the same. It, I, I don't quite have the nasal... Look, I'm not saying my impression is good to begin with. I'm just saying I don't have the timbre. You don't have the timbre, right, to do the impression. Now it's pretty much just like a wholesale theft from the movie The Trip. One makes you larger. Hmm. Well, that's not great, but I do appreciate the, uh, the extra spirit hearts in there. And the bombs are actually going to be really useful for us right here. Just throw a bomb down right there. Ooh, baby. You know it's gonna hurt. So come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on, uh, bomb demon, baby. Ooh, that's not what I was looking for. Okay, juicy sack. Um, I think it was probably the right course of action to take demon baby. But juicy sack is also pretty okay. So I'm not like... I'm not too disappointed, but I probably should have handled that a little less aggressively. Maybe, uh, that's not likely to be a secret room, but we do get the chest, and the chest has safety cap. Um, well, there's a chance... Ooh, a little dangerous there. Um, there's a chance that, uh... The Bloody Penny could be good for us if we respawn as another character, or if we, uh, you know, get Dark Bum. But probably safety cap has a little bit of a, a higher upswing for us. Ooh, it was extremely close. Getting hit is a, a real problem when you have Cursed Eye, of course, which is why I take it to keep things a little interesting. Um, but yeah, Pentagram. That's pretty dope. Curse of the Blind. Uh, it doesn't matter that much, because the, the odds are right now that we're going to have enough HP to pretty easily be able to take a deal with the Devil. So even if the deal with the Devil kind of sucks, like, we're going to be fine... At least temporarily. Hopefully long term, but at least temporarily. Uh, I'm not gonna keep two of hearts. I mean, it, it's objectively the right decision to keep it, because maybe it could actually uh, turn out to be useful for us if we respawn as a different character, but the odds of it are, are just so low that I don't think uh, it's gonna be good. Or it's gonna, it's gonna pay dividends, let's put it that way. Uh, okay, I'm excited to see what this deal with the devil is. Give me something awesome to pay me back for taking Cursed Eye. The real reason I take Cursed Eye, I'm always, oh, it's about the zaniness, it's about the zaniness. No, but it's because I believe in the cosmic power of karma, and I believe that if I deliberately make my life worse, some unseen force will come out of the shadows and use its guiding hand to correct it and make it awesome. So, we start with an HP upgrade, which is not worth anything. We get Ceremonial Rose, which means we also take this one, which is Abaddon. My baby takes the morning train. It gives me Abaddon again. It gave me sin robes as well to find you. Just sing it with me, guys. Please clap. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, that was amazing, right? How can I complain? This is Bursting Sack, which I think is our first complete bust. Um... Unless we get, you know, the ability to shoot bombs with our tears instead. I think that, uh... 
we're probably not really going to gleam too much out of that, but that's okay. There's Safety Cap paying out with uh, Curse of the Maze. Really appreciate it. Oh, Cat, you throw one up? No, don't do it! Don't do it! Come on! I can't clean up your, your vomit live on camera. I also don't want to sit with it festering for the next 10 minutes. Look, okay, I'll be real with you, buddy. If you gotta throw, you gotta throw. But, um... Do your best to hold it in. Even, like, Ruka, my other cat's in here. And, uh, not that Ruka is the other cat. They're both the cat. Ooh, more options. That's actually really good. Um, but, uh... He's just like, yeah, par for the course. Tomo's trying to vomit. No big deal. Um, this is a great blue baby run right now. I mean, we're ridiculously powerful. Tons of HP. Decent space bar item. Good future prospects. Uh, it, it's really, really good. Almost, if if I'm ever going to lose a blue baby run, it doesn't feel like it's going to be this one, does it? Caves of the Lost. Well, Curse of the Lost on the caves. But you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's Caves of the Lost now. So shall it be ridden, so shall it be done. This feels like a secret room. All they have to do in Afterbirth Plus to completely change the game for me is change the secret room algorithm. We've already seen how much that's frustrated me so far. It's only gonna get worse, man. Just make it so secret rooms can show up anywhere, and that's the end of that's the end of my sanity. Range down. Relatively inconsequential. Uh, I would love to get one bomb and kickstart my fart here. That's once I come out with my album that is uh, Glove Songs, which is songs with love changed to glove. We're going to come out with fart songs, and that's going to be songs with uh, heart changed to fart. So they'll be like, And I gotta go, and you know it wouldn't last. And I gotta gotta go, with my fart of glass. Something like that, or, um, let's, let's think, um, give it a second. Well, I mean, there's like, heartbeat by the Swedish pop princess Annie, you know. Feel my fart beat. Down into the beat of the melody. Something like that, but uh, that's not going to work too well. Um, Kickstart My Fart. Oh, obviously we're taking Iron Bar there. Kickstart My Fart is going to like, you know, that's going to lead the album. Whoa, yeah. Kickstart My Fart. Hope it never stops. Um, there's got to be some, I mean, there's got to be lots of songs with heart in the title, right, that I'm missing. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Kanye West's... Uh, 808 and heartbreaks, right? It makes me feel so fartless. It makes me feel so fartless. Something like that. Man. Give it, give it a shot. See if it works. But glove songs comes first, because "Pride in the Name of Glove" by U2 is like, I, I hold a, it holds a special place in my fart, if you know what I mean. Okay. Seven minutes, Mega Ma. Concussive Tears. Is it? No, Spider Butt is slow, and then Concussive Tears is confusion. So, um, we're doing fine on, you know, contrasting tier effects. They're both pretty okay. Cursed Eye has not made us teleport in quite some time. Good indication of how strong we are. And we get HP plus a trinket, and the trinket is the matchstick, which maybe is better. Down to the next floor? I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, we should go for this. Even if we don't have a charge immediately. What you hope is you, you hit those as, as quickly as you possibly can. Ugh, speed up, speed down. Up to sundown, see where the bad guys are to be found and make them lay down. Um, what you hope is that one of those red chests will, if not give you a guppy item, then just teleport you out of this place so you don't even have to fight any enemies. I guess we could, you know, create the teleport ourselves if we wanted to via the Cursed Eye uh, extravaganza here. That's okay, though. All I want to do is stack up enough damage, or at least killing power, aka piercing shots, that we can, uh, or, you know, even, like, fire mine would be interesting, but, uh, so that we can get through this without having a huge risk of teleporting, but if we can constructively use the teleporter, that's, that's its own, uh, ball of wax, isn't it? Hit them before they change back to full speed. Okay, good enough, good enough. That is also not guppy. Three spiders. I can make spiders myself, man. I don't need your freaking handouts. Okay, let's try to get a secret room here. That was my best chance. So you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Knock them all out. Eh, we got a bomb anyway. Thank you, matchstick. Possibly. 
secret room gives us a single penny. Who's that smart guy that just traded a bomb for a single penny? Talking about Shaft. No, Shaft didn't do that. That was Northern Lion. Shaft is a no-nonsense no police officer uh, famous for media in the 1970s. We're talking about Chef. No, not Chef, but Isaac Hayes did do the theme song to Shaft. It's a classic of the soul genre. Not merely a good theme, but also a, a hallmark of a, a burgeoning genre at the time itself. Fifteen cents is good. The tower is probably not. Let's use it on a tiny room to maximize our chances of being able to knock it out of the way. Um, we got two of clubs. We're starting to slow a little bit here, just because... You know, Cursed, cursed Eye is... <laughs> I hate to say it, because it's like an ultimate I told you so. Kind of overstaying its welcome. It's supposed to have some more damage by now to go along with it. Ooh, the arcade is completely meaningless. Perthrow, though, is potentially pretty good. Good. Not good. But it did it kill the enemy anyway, I guess. Um, ooh, and there was a Spirit Heart, because it was Larry Jr. All right, Blue Larry Jr. Starring Brooke Shields. That was a... Northern Lion, was that a reference to uh, Blue Lagoon? Yes, it was. I've never seen it, but I'm familiar with its uh, cultural significance, I suppose. So this floor, it's Death's Touch or Bust. I'll turn this run around, I swear to God. Why do this room this time? Why not do this room this time? That's, that's been my philosophy ever since the day I was born. You may hear some sounds coming out of the other room. It's Kate. Kate's playing the forest. You know, she impressed me. She beat Layers of Fear, the, the jump scary kind of uh, psychological horror game. Um, ooh, yeah, we'll take Shoop the Whoop for sure here. Uh, and wasn't really that spooked, but the forest, that game isn't necessarily scary. It's extremely startling, though. I get startled all the time playing that. Definitely BFF. Maybe is not immediately incredible for us here, but may get to that point in the future. Um, I was looking for 9 volts so we can use Shoop the Whoop once per room, and then this run is, like, effectively over, but not quite yet. Okay, so there's our boss. That's all right. We're going to use Crystal Ball, or uh, Shoop the Whoop now. Pretty good. And you should be dead right now. I stood right in there. Old Bandage, no deal with the devil. Well, I took Old Bandage because I really feel like the Perthrow rune is better served uh, as our... As our deal with the devil option. So we should have like a 100% chance of getting a deal with the devil on this floor. I suppose it's not a 100% chance a lightning bolt could come through my house and strike me right now. I mean, I live in an apartment building, so it'd have to come like sideways through the window, which would be pretty unlikely, but I guess nothing's impossible, right? That's what this... It, most people don't know that, but in the Abbey Road medley from the Beatles album, the White Album, that's a joke, it's from Abbey Road. You know, John Lennon has that famous song. She came in through the bathroom window. That's actually about a lightning bolt that came in through his window, and it shocked him. Luckily, he was not hurt. Um, we want a bomb here for Blood of the Martyr. Well, okay. That's, that's a little disappointing. And then, I mean, it's pretty metaphorical. Is it? It's something, something, silver spoon. It's like lightnings can't have silver spoons, but the lightning did come from a, a rich family. And then she cocks her head and wonders. That's, you know, lightning bolts have like that zigzag pattern. At the edge of the old lagoon. I don't even think that's how it goes anymore. It's been a while. I mean, it came out in like 19, you know, 68. What's the matter? Couldn't it be 1969? I mean, as I come to think of it, I suppose it could be. When was Let It Be? That was like 70, 71, somewhere in there. Okay. Now. You're doing fine. Got Blood of the Martyr for a slight extra damage increase. Flush is definitely not worth our time. Um, we could Perthrow it and maybe get something better, but instead of doing that, why don't we just use Perthrow for a much better chance of greatness on our uh, deal with the devil? In my opinion, at least. Not everything is dead? <laughs> oh, it's, it's apparently a very spooky game right now. Oh, hell yeah. Reroll the whole run. We got, uh... Oh, my God. Why'd you... RNG! I love it. I don't know whether to kill ya or kiss ya. 
Because you gave me mom's knife. And that's going to make people mighty ornery. Uh, especially... Oh my god, the damage is so good. Um, especially considering you also gave me holy mantle triple shot. So you kind of like... You're letting me ball out of control now. And I appreciate it. Especially, you know, we got Pyro as well here. But I appreciate it. But I think there might be a subset of people out there who are like, God damn, another mom's knife run. You live by the sword, you die by the fucking blade, you know? That's the expression. Get two birds stoned at once. I wish it hadn't uh, been like this. But at the same time, I'm pretty glad that it is like this. Because this is like a lot of damage. Um, is this Debs? It's Debs 2 already. So we're like three minutes ahead of schedule. And we'll only get faster as the run goes on. We also apparently have Rune Bag, as you saw right there. Perthrow Algis. I think you can keep Perthrow. Um, and on this floor, we're looking basically for Shoop to Whoop. <laughs> it was already our ideal spacebar item, but it got even better. Hot Bombs are just okay. Uh, no, no teleport, I guess, because we don't have Cursed Eye anymore. Pretty much we can just walk into every enemy and have no risk of dying. Hagalas! Good news! Hagalas rune! It's been a while. Uh, tell you what, yeah, let's give it a shot. I believe we'll get a bomb in there. Make it- Oh, I told you. You know what, let's take crack dice. It'll be weird. Why would I- why did I want a bomb in there? We should have asked for a key in there. We got a key in here, though. Do we want to go to our shop? I don't see why we wouldn't want to go to our shop, to be honest with you. What an interesting question you've asked there. I fit through the spikes there on instinct. Um, I recognize that Holy Mantle would have made it so we didn't take damage anyway. But I'm pretty impressed with the fact that I made it through the spikes. Uh, just by picking the right pixel there. Yeah, we can donate some money at least. Maybe we want the card? We want the card. Okay, so we can save Perthrow. Use it for a deal with the devil at some point later. Yo, if we get speed upgrades, we basically have Midas Touch on this run. It's such stupidly good damage already. No deal with the devil again. We take the Polaroid. Um, I think we take Mom's Contact. Get the hell out of Dodge. Got an Algae's Room. We'll just pop that for shits and giggles. Could pop it on the Boss Trap, or sorry, the Mob Trap Room. And by that, I mean the Arcade, but... Uh, there's not too much value in that, I feel. The gauze. Yo, where's where did I put my Perthrow rune? It's in the shop, right? Because that's where I got the uh, fool card. Ah, I can't leave. I love. I carried the Perthrow rune for so long, and then I I gummed it up at the last second. That's all right. We can get another one. We got rune bag. Uh, Curse of the Labyrinth. Sorry, I just used the gauze. No more Curse of the Labyrinth, right, guys? Right? It's not. All right, I wish. Tyrone, um, that's gonna be my first Afterbirth Plus mod, is making it so Curse of the, uh, Labyrinth is stopped by the Degas rune. Okay, really gonna need you to hit this, Gish. I know you wanna hit that, I know you wanna hit that, hit that little Gish is trying to kill this thing. It is taking longer than the solo in Little Wing. It doesn't rhyme really. Oh, okay. Actually, it just took. It's because we have Eve's mascara. It took us a hundred years there. It's very strange that our um, boss room is so close here. I don't think that was caused by. Uh, I don't think that was caused by our Degas rune. But if it was, that's pretty hilarious. Okay, grab this shit. It lives. One shot. Oh, come on. Just kill the other one. You just gotta. Touch the boss, they're dead. Super easy. We will totally do hush on this one. We're only 16 minutes in. We will also get succubus. We will not get black powder. Mostly because we're just not super fast, so uh, our odds of making it work are not great. Now, we admittedly can only really go to the shop here. We also only have nine cents. So we're like, go to the shop, buy a key, but there's no key for sale. So instead, we get there's options. Well, that was incredible. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm here mostly just to fight hush anyway, so. Not nothing more than that. Dude, the Eve's mascara charge is is messing with me right now. Okay, we've already lost Holy Mantle. We have to get so close to hit. What about our bombs? We got 98 of them. Get those in there. Uh, you know, I think our damage is gonna do it for us here, which it shouldn't be surprising. But it, I was a little worried about how close we'd have to get, but. The damage that we're getting out of it is really, really good. Succubus or no succubus. 
but you know, Succubus is a little better for us. Oh my god, we should try that out more often. Okay, good, 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 good. Pop up, pop up. Pop, pop. Oscar's my real father? Oh no, it's Pop, pop Secret. It's Arrested Development. It's good. Sh it's a good show. Okay. I mean, this is a really, really quick hush fight here. We're probably gonna get hit here. Amazingly, we seem to not be getting hit here, dude. I don't care if you hit me. I have permanent Polaroid invincibility. Go wild. Yeah. Oh, you got me. He's dead. Keys, maybe? No keys. All right. Well, I guess we'll go up to the cathedral then. Slightly disappointing. We also have no keys for the chest, but um, we begin every room by walking into enemies until they die forever. So, I mean, it's going pretty well right now is my assumption of how things are going. Might as well use Hogalaz, like on a room like this. There you go. Get a key out of it. I appreciate it. Spirit Heart, probably irrelevant at this point, but the key is not. Well, I think in the in the pantheon of rerolls, you got to consider that this is one of the most traditionally like ridiculously strong. Hell yeah, we got a Yara room too. Um, it's one of the like not that our run was bad before. Like, oh, I didn't mean to open it. I was just standing next to it when it went off. Um, we were doing all right. We were getting close to greatness, but uh, this one, you know, took it there with a with a bullet, without a doubt. Well, we're gonna get hurt on the way out, but it's okay. It's only half a heart because we also have the wafer, which is ridiculous, but uh, I'll take it. It's a positive thing. Okay, and by half heart, of course, I mean half fart of damage, uh, as we've touched on earlier. In the name of glove. Two thumbs in the name of glove. Algiz. Uh, I mean, we already have Holy Mantle. Let's not get too greedy with things, right? I don't want to make the RNG gods too angry here. Hey, what was it? Stan? Like, right here? Yeah, it's like, even... I, I have a lot of mom's knife runs, I think people would admit. This is like, top tier mom's knife run to a level that, uh... Is, is rare even for mom's knife. So we have Fire Mind, we get Obsessed Fan. Rooms with lots of enemies are... Gonna be kind of our kryptonite here, if we have any kryptonite at all. Uh, Aquarius... No chest, no chest. It's gotten to the point where we like enter some of these rooms. I don't even really know um, what is hitting enemies, just that they're dying. Lusty blood. It's so irrelevant, but also so good. I mean, it's one of the few items that could at least tickle my fancy at this point in my life. My Isaac life, at least. what happens when an unstoppable force meets not even an immovable object. It meets an object that's very movable. It gets obliterated by the uh, unstoppable force. Okay, the body is just all spirit hearts here. It's gonna be win 11, man. And palindromic wins are the sweetest, I find. 11, 22, 1,111, 999,999. ,999. Once you get into the triple digits, you can get even, even weirder palindromic ones, you know? You can get like 141 is a palindromic win. Hopefully we make it that far. It is a key. I'm not going back at this point. Like, wh who are we trying to impress? You seeing this shit? It's gonna be like, it's literally gonna be a 21 minute run. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't, it's 21.01. Um, and we did hush. So that's pretty ridiculous. We almost could have made it to boss rush in the chest. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. That was a fast one, but a, a really amazing reroll. If you liked it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.